Hello, and welcome back to Jolly Roger Hobbies. Today we're going to be doing a comparison between gravity feed airbrushes and siphon feed airbrushes. What are the differences? What are the similarities? Which is better? And furthermore, which one should I buy? We will answer these questions and more after the intro, so stay tuned. We'll see you in 40 seconds or less. Here on my channel, I do videos on general hobbies, which include model building, RC aircraft, planes, helicopters, etc., video games like Star Citizen, photography, geocaching, anything to do with aviation, and I also do product reviews. I put links to items that I showcase in my videos in the description, so be sure to check that out. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll see when I upload a new video. Also, feel free to ask questions in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. And feel free to converse with one another, but please do it in a respectful way. All right, for this comparison, I am using my Iwata Neo CN Gravity Feed Airbrush and my Iwata Neo BCN Siphon Feed Airbrushes. They are exactly the same airbrush except for the needle size and the feed system, making them perfect for a direct comparison. The first question is, what is gravity feed and what is siphon feed? So, the feed system, let me go ahead and pull these out. You have two components to the feed system. The very first component is common, is the air system, which I apologize. My quick change needle, not for the video. <laughs> All right. So your airline connects to the airbrush to supply air to the airbrush. And then the feed system I'm talking about is where the paint is fed in. So in a gravity feed like this, your paint is in a cup on top of the unit and gravity pulls the paint down. As you pull the trigger back, the needle retracts, sending more paint down into the channel. The more you press down on the trigger in a dual action, the more airflow you get. Those combine atomize the paint and determine how much and how fast the paint flows. Now, the bottle feed airbrush, or also known as the siphon feed, is the exact same thing. Same concept. You have your air coming in, your trigger pull push down for your air, pull back which pulls the needle back allowing paint to flow. The difference is the gravity feed has the big cup up here which allows the uh, paint to flow down. What happens in a siphon feed airbrush is when you push the trigger down and pull the needle back, air flows through here, the needle is pulled back, and the airflow over the hole causes a suction action, and it siphons or suctions the, pet, the paint out of the airbrush into the mixing chamber and out the end of the airbrush. Now, if we open the bottle, you will see like most bottles, like your common spray bottles, you know, your hand spray, your Windex bottles, that kind of thing, have this tube, and when you squeeze it, it would suck the air up here, or suck the liquid or whatever you have in your bottle up. In a bottle feed airbrush, the air flowing over that causes that suction, and it comes out there. Now, the other difference between these specific two airbrushes is the BCN has a 0.5 millimeter needle in it, and the CN has a 0.35 millimeter needle in it. The difference in size is because this specific airbrush, not the type, but this specific airbrush is used for fine to medium detail work. Whereas this one is used for medium to large detail work. 
That is the only difference between the two airbrushes is the feed system and the needles. And the needles have no bearing in how the feed system works. So therefore, in this video, which is better, the needle has no comparison to this. So let's talk about gravity feed a little bit. What is gravity feed used for and what are the advantages? So as I mentioned with the needle size, also smaller applications spring fine to medium areas. Um, you can mix small amounts of paint for small areas. Yeah. Now this one itself comes with a uh, quarter ounce cup. Others will have bigger cups, smaller cups. Every airbrush is different and will have a different size cup. So one of the big key things in using a gravity feed is the ability to use less air pressure from 8 to 20 PSI, which means using a smaller or cheaper compressor. And because of that, it's also easy cleanup. And this airbrush is very versatile. Now, what are the cons to a gravity feed? Well, small cup can actually be a con. Because if you need to keep refilling for larger quantities of paint, or have to clean the airbrush every time you change a color. So literally, if you change a color in this airbrush, you'll have to clean it out and spray it out before you can add another color. That's a major disadvantage. So what are siphon feed used for? And what are the advantages? So the siphon feed has one big advantage is the fact that you can look directly over the top and see what you're spraying. There's no well, nothing to get in the way. Second, this is used for medium to large applications in spray areas. You're able to change the colors quickly with the use of multiple bottles of paint. So just disconnect. Grab another bottle, you'll just spray out real quick to clean out the paint, attach your second color, and away you go. You're ready to spray again. You're able to hold large amounts of paint depending on what bottle size is used. And the bottles come in a lot of different sizes. There's uh, this is a one ounce bottle. They have them in, I think, two ounce bottles, four ounce bottles, and I know it goes all the way up to like uh, a liter bottle or something like that. So the amount of paint you can hold and spray is just dependent on your bottle size. And that can be changed easy. So what are the cons of using a siphon feed? Well, it is definitely more difficult and more intricate to clean up. And if you want full details on cleaning up the uh, BCN, check out my uh, airbrush video or my airbrush cleaning tutorial and where I used this airbrush. And I'll link a card to that right here. The other con is this needs a much higher air pressure for good operations. And I'm talking from a minimum of 20 PSI to 50 PSI working pressure. So it may require more expensive and expansive air pressure or air compressor. And the reason for that is, is to be able to suck that paint up, you need to have a lot of air pressure flowing over that hole. So the last question, which feed system should you buy and use? Well, unfortunately, the answer to this is in a straightforward one. They both have advantages and disadvantages, as I just mentioned. So the answer to this is, it depends on the application you intend to use it. If you need to spray larger areas with large amounts of paint, and you will change colors often in a single spray session, then the siphon feed system is for you. If you tend on spraying small areas with fine detail, and only intend to use one or a few colors, at a time and will spray just a small amount of paint in one session, 
then the gravity feed is for you. Really, it depends on what you intend on using it for and your personal preferences. But Jolly Roger, what if I intend on using an airbrush for all applications you mentioned? Well, the answer is simple. I suggest you get both types and buy yourself a quick change nipple for a few bucks so that you have the ability to change airbrushes in seconds using a single compressor and airline. And that, compre that quick change nipple I was just talking about, right here. So, literally, that's how easy it is to change airbrushes. Now, I also took the nipple off of this. So, easily, with this quick change nipple, I can change airbrushes quickly. And this is why I use them on my airbrush. And if you're going to ask what this is, I'll tell you real quick. This is just a moisture removal because when you're uh, airbrushing, the last thing you want is moisture in your airline. And depending on what compressor you use, it may not have a moisture trap. So for a couple bucks extra, I just bought this moisture trap here to keep moisture out of the air so it doesn't mix with my paint. That's all that is. Furthermore, for that reason, I also suggest you get a higher quality compressor with the ability to change the line air pressure to suit your need in airbrush. Because as I mentioned, these airbrushes need different working pressures and you will find in your painting, you might need to change that air pressure. You can change the amount of air by how much you push this down. However, if you can dial in your uh, air pressure on your compressor, will give you a more finer ability to adjust that. So, I have reviews of both these airbrushes on my channel, so be sure to check them out if you're interested in them. And as I mentioned before, I also have a full in-depth airbrush cleaning tutorial as well, so be sure to check that out. And like I said, in that video, I used the BCN to clean out. So you will get the idea of how to clean out the airbrush itself and the bottle. If you have a gravity feed and want to know how to clean it out, the cleaning is the exact same, but just substitute cleaning out the bottle for cleaning out the cup. That's it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up as it helps. Share this video with someone you may think enjoy it, or if you know anyone considering buying an airbrush. Consider subscribing if this is something you enjoyed and would like to see more. I hope you enjoyed this comparison, and thanks for watching.